And um, also when you shop with me and you spend $35, you earn a B. And when you have earned 10 Bs, then I will email you at the end of the month. I'll let you know that your card's full and then you can redeem it in product. Um, you're just responsible for um, the shipping and um, tax, okay? And let's see, what else? Also, when you place an order in my online store, you can get our September tutorial. It has 16 projects in it and they are so cute. They feature the celebration catalog and the holiday catalog. So they're really fun um, to get your hold of, to get a hold of, get your hands on. So um, we're just about ready to start. I'm gonna go back and say a few hellos, especially if you're new this evening, please say hello and let us know that you're with us. It's always fun to see where you're from. Um, hi, Claudia from Virginia. I also live in Virginia, Claudia. I live in Suffolk, Virginia, so I am near Virginia Beach. Hi, Dawn. Welcome. Hi, Terry. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Jeannie from Woodstock. I know you're Peggy's good friend, and I'm so glad that you're joining us tonight. All right. Wow. That was a mouthful. So um, let's get started. I'm gonna show you the cards in just a minute. I do have a special promotion going on this evening, <clears throat> and I'm gonna tell you about that now. Hi, Carolyn. <clears throat> Hi, Janelle. Okay, so tonight's special is I'm going to be demonstrating four Peaceful Deer cards. And you have the opportunity to get all four of these cards absolutely free. So beginning tonight through Monday night at midnight on September 20th, when you place a $50 order in my online store or with me personally if you're local, I'm going to send you all four cards. You're going to get the card stock pre-cut, pre-scored. You're going to get the embellishments free. You're going to earn a celebration product because you're spending $50 in my online store and you can choose anything you want, but I do recommend the deer paper, which you're about to see. You're also gonna earn a B and you're also gonna get that September free tutorial. So you cannot go wrong. When you do place an order in my online store, you wanna use this hostess code. That's very important because that tells me that you've earned those free cards, okay? So be sure to use that. And I'll repeat this at the very end. If you are one of my team members, you have the option of purchasing the kit instead of uh, purchasing in my online store. So that's a perk for being one of my team members, okay? All right, well, let's get started. Let's see, where do I move this? Okay, we're gonna start in our holiday book. And if you have yours with you tonight, go ahead and turn to page 26, all right? And on page 26, you're going to see Peaceful Deer. And we also, you're gonna see three card samples right here. Gail, I'm glad you made it home. Glad you got home safely and you can watch. So here are three card samples. And then you're going to notice this um, stamp set is adorable. It offers a lot. It has four different trees and tree sizes and combinations. Then you get all of these words. You get Merry Christmas, let's celebrate, it's the best time of the year, sending love and peace this season from all of us and wishing you a wonderful year of friendship, dear. So you get all those greetings, you get the antlers, and you also get the deer and the bunny. And this deer has a coordinating punch 
and this is the punch right here. And as you can see, you can punch out the antlers. I'm gonna teach you a quick tip on how to do that this evening. And there's also a little hole that can be punched out if you wanted to create a gift tag. So this is a bundle, it's called Peaceful Deer, and the bundle retails for 36, and that's a 10% savings, okay? Now we're gonna go look at celebration. So if you've got your celebration book with you this evening, if you turn to the very uh, front inside cover, it's talking about celebration. And again, we've got some deer samples. Look at that cute tag that was made. I haven't made that one yet. And then of course there's some deer paper. So let me tell you about the deer paper. You're about to see it in just a second. See if I can find it again. It's called Peaceful Prints. And this is um, designer paper is free with the $50 purchase in my online store. Okay, so this is a great opportunity to get this beautiful, beautiful paper. All right, there is one other celebration announcement that I need to tell you, and that is regarding Be Dazzling, okay? This designer paper is six by six. It's a specialty paper. And um, as of this morning, it has not been orderable. Now, I remember reading back in August that this paper was available while supplies last. So um, I am not sure if it's gonna come back in stock or if it's just completely sold out. But be aware that you cannot select this as your free gift, okay? All right, so now I get to show you the cards and the paper. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the paper. And before I do that, let's see, hello, Rosemary. Melissa, you're absolutely right. That little hole can be a red nose, and then we've created a Rudolph. You are so right. Thank you for sharing that. Hi, Mary. Welcome. All right, so here we go. This is one of the papers. This reminds me of candy canes. And this is the other side. Okay, all right, so that's one of the papers. It's double-sided. Then this is your next designer paper. It coordinates with real red, garden green, basic black, probably um, crumb cake. I'm trying to remember some of them. Here's the opposite side of the checks. And you can actually punch out this deer with the punch. All right, isn't that cool? All right, let me grab some more paper here. Here we are, we've got some in crumb cake. And the opposite side of crumb cake, you're going to find the deer. So see the little deers and then the tiny little Christmas trees? Aren't they cute? All right, now this is one of my favorites. It's the trees, and I like the trees because look at the buffalo check tree. Isn't that awesome? I just love these trees. And then the opposite side is in garden green, and it has some little dots on it. Here's another garden green. This pattern reminds me of pine needles. And the opposite side is snowflakes. And the last paper is this piece. This is all I have to show you, okay? Because I've really been going through this. Here's the snowflakes on one side. And on the opposite side, you're going to have this plaid, all right? So this is the free paper with a $50 purchase. Now I'm gonna move the paper out of the way and I'll now show you the cards. So one of the first cards that we're going to create tonight is this easel card. 
You might even call it a tent card. I know, isn't the paper yummy? So if you were to fold this card, it would fit in an envelope. And then you can pop this up. And this little die cut here, or big die cut, holds it in place. And that's what it looks like. We're going to be making this this evening. And here is another sample because I could not make up my mind which one I liked best. And so this is just another sample, but we'll make this one tonight. And you may recall this pattern. Just a few weeks ago, we made the penguin card and we used the very same design. Remember that? That was the first Wednesday in September. Janelle says, I have the bundle and the DSP, but I haven't played with it yet. Well, Janelle, after tonight, I hope that I will inspire you to pull it out and to have a play with it. All right, so that was the penguin card. And last week we did counting sheep. All right, here's counting sheep. And when you pop this one up, you've got hope your day is fantabulistic. So this was last Wednesday night. And then I do have another deer card because I absolutely could not decide which deer card I liked most. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull the penguin away and um, the, the, um, the, peng the penguin and the counting sheep. And I'm just gonna hold these up one more time so that you can get a good look at them. This is a really tough angle to show these. Thank you, Sue. Thanks, Arlene. You, have, you haven't seen them all yet. I have been having so much fun today with the deer. So again, they're easel cards, and here is another easel card. I love the paper so much, I just couldn't decide which paper I liked the best. So that's when I had to create all three. But for tonight, I've decided that we're going to create this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So that's going to be our first card, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the other three, okay? <laughs> I know we could vote for the favorite, absolutely. You know, there is a way that you can do a Facebook, um, yeah, Facebook toll, um, poll, and I haven't learned how to do that yet, but when I do, this would have been a great poll to do. All right, so then our next card is right here. And we're going to be using the stitched nested shapes. Again, I've used that snowflake paper in the background. I've used these snowflakes. We'll talk in great detail about these tonight because it's probably the best deal in the entire holiday book. Then our next card is right here. And you know me, I love that buffalo check tree. So I'm gonna zoom in, you can get a closer look. Maybe I zoomed in too much. There we go. So we'll make both of these. And by the way, we're gonna give them away tonight. So you wanna be here at the very end to see if you win. And then our last card this evening is right here. And it is a gift card holder. Okay, and I don't know about you, but when it's the holidays, I love to have these gift card holders on hand because I use them for everything and everybody loves them. And then if I see them throw them away, I'll grab them and say, don't throw that away. But they usually don't throw them away anyway. They keep them. So thank you, Terry. Thank you so much, ladies. I'm so glad you um, like the cards. So that's where that gift card goes. This is a super easy gift card holder to make, and you're gonna learn how to do that this evening, okay? So that'll be card number four. 
So I'm gonna move these out of the way now so that we can get all set up. And remember my little tray, you know, my little Dollar Tree tray. If you all are demonstrators, this is the best thing to use. It keeps all, all your supplies in your tray. It is awesome. Okay, let's see. All right, I think we're ready to get started. I am going to give you measurements. I'm just moving things out of my way here. All right, and by the way, um, tomorrow afternoon and Friday, I will post all of these pictures, okay? And some of you've contacted me. You've been contemplating uh, placing an online order, and if you do that beginning tonight, you're going to get the supplies for all four of these cards that I just showed you, okay? Along with some other goodies. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna start with our card base, okay? Now this is a standard card base and it's five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, okay? And I've got something on here, let me get that off. <laughs> okay, and so you're going to score it in two places, all right? So you're going to score it at two and one eighth, and you're scoring along the eight and a half inch side, and then you're gonna score again at four and a quarter inches and that's to create um, the score. Marski, um, the tutorial um, shows you on there and the circle just keeps spinning. Hmm, are you talking about the printable? Um, if I will check on that later. I'm not sure if you're talking about the printable or what, so give me a few more details. All right, so once it's all scored, we can just fold this in half. That just flew right out of my hand. <laughs> I know, Rosemary. I thought of you, Rosemary. I thought of you because I knew you were thinking about it. And then we've got this score line as well. And we'll just burnish that a little bit so we get a nice crease, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is add our basic white cardstock to the inside of the card. So it's going to measure five and a quarter inches by four inches, okay? And we're not stamping anything on it. We are just going to adhere the tape, okay? All right. And we'll add that right to the inside, right here, okay? So now that part is done, and now we're going to add our trees to the card. So the trees are gonna go right here. So let me measure. Um, this is going to be five and a quarter inches by one and seven eighths of an inch, okay? And we're gonna add adhesive to this as well. And it's going to go on, woo, I don't want my trees upside down, so we're just going to center this, okay? Right in that area just like that, okay? So super easy. Now, if you're making this card, because this one is my other favorite and I couldn't decide which one to make tonight, it's the snowflake paper. You're gonna do the very same thing. It's the same measurements, okay? All right. Now, we're going to be using some die cuts. I've already cut them out to save us time. They are very basic cuts, okay? And I'll show you um, the die set that we used. Let's see if I can grab it. All right. 
So this is Tasteful Labels, and I used um, this one right here to cut out the garden green. If anyone needs to know how to cut this with this die, I am happy to show you the sandwich, okay? Um, but it's a very basic cut, but if you haven't done it before, then I definitely wanna show you how to do it, okay? There's the other shape right there. Okay, so those were the two that I used to create this. And on this card, if you were making this one, again, same shape right here, and then you would use this shape, okay? And again, it's from Tasteful Labels. It's, 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 we've had Tasteful Labels for a while now, but um, it's kind of become one of my favorites lately. Okay, so let's do some stamping here. I am going to be using Sending Love and P No, you know what? I'm not gonna use, am I gonna use that one? I'll use this one. Sending Love and Peace this season, all right? Because there are several that will work. We're going to use Real Red Ink. And we're gonna ink this up and we're just gonna stamp this right in the center isn't that beautiful and you know I told you that we were not going to be stamping anything on the whisper white or the basic white that's the new color well guess what I just changed my mind so hang tight Hang tight, I'm looking for one of my trees. Let's use this one. All right, and that's three trees clustered together. I love the trees in this set. They are awesome. And we're gonna use the other trees tonight too. Okay, so you'll, you'll get to experience both of them. Now, I know you'll be surprised when I say we're gonna use dimensionals but you definitely wanna use dimensionals with an easel card because that is what holds up the tent that we've created, okay? So I'm going to add it and I'm gonna put it about right here and I'll show you why I chose this particular spot. If I put the die cut down lower, this tent is gonna be long. Okay, if I put the die cut way up here, then it's not gonna pop up at all, you won't have a tent. And so if you position it about there, then you've got a tent, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Terry. So that's what you wanna do with that. And then we're going to pop up the words. Hi, Suzanne, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, I'm gonna put that about right there. And then we're going to use our layering circles. And I have the dies right here. So let's look and see which ones we use, just in case you wanna make this at home. We actually use this die. So I'm going to measure the diameter of the die, and it's about three inches. So that's about the size you want for that. And then I'm thinking that's it, yep. I, what, a, what a good guess. Um, this is gonna measure about two and three quarters in diameter, all right? So that's about the size you want there, okay? And this is one of our designer papers. I've already taken the time to cut them because, um, you know, we're making lots of cards tonight, so I don't wanna keep you here all night. This is Garden Green. And of course, you know the paper is from Peaceful Prints. Now, when I go to add the circle to this card, I only want adhesive in this area, all right? So I'm gonna flip this over 
And I'm just gonna add some adhesive right along there. And then I'm going to add it to the card, okay? Just like that, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mary, I get it. Those stamping fairies, absolutely. Now, if your card does not want to stand up, you might need to press it this way. You might need to fold it. Just keep playing around with it, and you'll get it in the right place, I promise. All right, so let's talk snowflakes, okay? These are amazing. I am totally addicted to these snowflakes. There are 24 in a package and they're $6. And we figured it out last night in class. Is that 60 cents a snowflake or is it 40%? I have not done the mathing. So um, anyway, they are amazing. I already have one that's popped out. It's glossy on one side and then it's paper on the other. And you could definitely color these snowflakes on the paper side. You could use your Stampin' Blends. You could use a sponge dauber. Um, I don't think I'd use a blending brush because I think you're gonna catch the, um, the, um, the arms of it and wrinkle it up or maybe rip it, okay? The other cool thing, and I don't know if Stampin' Up! planned this or not, but the dimensional fits perfectly. It's exactly the same size. Can you believe that? Now, I don't know if that was planned on purpose or not. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our snowflake right there and pop it up. And now all we need is our sweet little reindeer. All right. So there are two reindeer that you can stamp and punch out. Here is the other deer. It's the outline of the deer. You can stamp the outline and punch that out. And you can even color this. You can color this, um, um, you know, with um, Stampin' Blends. Um, Lee... Um, you cannot share that tutorial during, during this class. That tutorial is for, for my team members and for customers who placed orders for the month. So um, if you will please not share that. If you can take that down, that would be great. I'm sorry to call that out, but I want to be fair with everyone when it comes to whether you know you earn a free gift or not. I know, Suzanne, I love that tint style. Isn't that fun? All right, I'm gonna use crumb cake, and this is what I'll be using for the deer all night. It's crumb cake cardstock, and I'm gonna use soft suede. You can also use early espresso if you don't have soft suede. So there's our sweet little deer right there and I think we're probably going to need a post-it note so I'm going to just put that there so that we can insert this um, deer into the punch and I'm gonna warn you, this guy has several things going on, okay? So there's a, the mechanisms, they're like one, two, three, four different items that have to be punched. And when you have that many in a builder punch, it can be really hard to press and punch it out. So you may need both hands. I know that I do. And it's nothing wrong with the punch. It's just the fact that it's a builder punch and it has a lot going on, okay? So just be aware of that. Of course, I'm gonna punch up this sweet little guy. So I'll add a few more dimensionals there. These are the minis. They come in handy for this little guy. Okay. 
and I'm just going to prop it right there in the center, okay? Now you can, can add antlers and we'll be doing that on another card. So this is our first card, ladies. We've already gotten it taken care of. It's an easel card, a fun fold, if you will. And here's the other one right here, okay? So this one's got the trees in the background, the snowflakes, and um, some more trees here. But they're both fun. I love them both, so I could not resist. But we'll definitely give this one away. Let's go ahead and we're gonna add one of my labels. All right, and we'll see who the lucky winner is going to be tonight, okay? All right. So we'll put that right there. No problem, Lee. Thank you for, um, I hope you can delete the other comment, please. Thank you. All right. Well, let's get ready for our second card. You wouldn't believe the stuff I've got laying around here. This is our second card. And if you wanna get a screenshot, you've got a few minutes to do that. I know, isn't this fun, Carol? I love this set. I'm totally in love with this little deer. Okay. So with this little guy, we're gonna start with, you know what, I didn't put that dimensional down today. I didn't peel off the paper to it. Hi, Sharon. Hello, hello. Hi, Pam. Okay. So this is our real red um, cardstock base. And this one measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. And if there's anyone who wants to know how to cut this from a full sheet, I'm, I'm happy to share that with you, okay? Now along this 11 inch side, you're actually going to score at five and a half inches. Okay, so that's the score line that's right in the middle. Okay. Then we're gonna add this beautiful paper. So let's start with the designer paper. This is measuring three and three eighths. And this is measuring four and five eighths, okay? And then our basic black is measuring three and five eighths. Let me know if I'm going too fast. You can always watch the re replay as well. And four and seven eighths. Thank you, Linda, and thanks for joining. I wanna thank all of you ladies for being here this evening and supporting me. All right, so that's four and seven eighths. We're gonna put these two together and we're gonna do that with stamp and seal. And we're going to center this. And now this piece is actually going to get popped up on the card base. Just like that. And we're gonna use some gold cording, okay? Now, you can find the gold cording. I believe it's in the holiday book in the back, okay? All right, and I can show you that in a second. All right, I came up with this idea today, a little trick of the trade. When you go to tie this, once you tie that bow, it, it gets a little loose, and I don't really like that. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And this is the first time I've ever done this. We're actually going to take a glue dot. Come on. There we go. I'm going to untie. And I'm gonna put that glue dot about right there. Now, honestly, that's just a guess about where I want it. And I'm gonna put where I cross those two, I'm actually gonna stick that right in the glue dot. See that? 
So that's gonna hold tight for me so that I can get this bow tied because I needed an extra set of hands today. All right, and then I can trim this. So I'll get rid of that. We're gonna adjust this bow a little bit more. And we might do that after we get um, this attached to the card. So let's do that. We'll go ahead and we'll attach this to the card base. Card base is real red. All right, and we're just going to center this. This is one of my favorite measurements where you get this nice thick border. I just love that, okay? We're gonna fool with the bow in a minute, okay? Let me zoom out just a little. I think I'm just too close up. Now we're going to be using the Stitch Nested Dies, okay? So let me show you those. They're in the annual book. I have to really zoom out now. They're called Stitch Nested Labels, okay? Now let me show you which ones we're using. Oh, good, Sherry. I'm glad. Sherry, you know, I tried this bow so many times today, and then I finally got the right idea. Okay, so the larger one is basic black. That's what I used. And this die is measuring about two and a half inches wide. So that's the one you wanna use. And then for the crumb cake right here, let's see what that one is. That is about two and a quarter inches wide. Now we're gonna use these very same dies for the next card, okay? But these are the stitch nested labels and they are located in um, the annual book. Oh, Anita says it's her favorite. You know, I forgot about these, Anita. I haven't used them in a long time and I don't know why not. And so um, anyway, I'm glad to bring them back out and use them again. Okay. So for this one, let's go ahead, see how we wanna put this together. We are going to add dimensionals. I'm getting low on these things here. I've got some coming in the mail on Friday. We're going to actually center this, okay? So it's crumb cake and it's basic black. And then we're gonna flip it over and I'm going to be using the ends. See, I told you I've been stamping all day. I've got black ink everywhere. Go ahead and snip down the side there. And then we are going to center it on the designer paper. Okay, so about there. And then we're going to add one of our snowflakes, which I think I'm going to need to take one out. These come six to a sheet. They are so awesome. I think I've already gone through like, I don't know, three packs of these. They're just so fun to use. Okay, again, we are going to um, use a dimensional. And so I'm just gonna add that teeny one right there. Hello, Louise, it is never too late. We are happy to have you, and you can always go back and catch the replay. Um, from the die cut, I'm just pulling out some little um, loose pieces. All right, yeah, you must have the snowflakes, absolutely. It's the best deal in the whole book. All right, so I'm gonna add our snowflake about right there, and I, I put it down here at the bottom, and you're gonna see why in a minute, okay? All right. So the gem that I'm referring to, Lee, are the snowflakes. They're located in the August to December holiday mini. They're in the very back of a catalog, and they're $6, okay? We're gonna do a bit of stampy now. We're gonna pull out the soft suede one more time. And 
we're going to add the deer. And by the way, his little body, and you probably can't see it, it says, oh, what fun. How cute is that? Just love it. All right. And then we're actually going to need some real red ink. We're going to use a strip of crumb cake, and I'll measure this for you. This is a half inch by two and three eighths of an inch. You could even make it two and a half if you want, if that's easier for you, okay? And let's see, let's do, um, it's the best time of year. Okay, so we're gonna ink that up in real red. And then I'm just gonna stamp it in the center right there, okay? So here we're going to need a dimensional and I'm actually gonna put that right in the middle of the banner. And the reason I put it only in the middle is because I want it to stick right here. If I put dimensionals on the outer edges, it's gonna come over here and then it's not gonna lay flat. All right. So here we go, we're gonna add our words right there. See how easy that is? Then we're gonna punch out, I'm gonna put this red ink away so that I don't put my hand in it. We're going back to our punch, and I'm thinking I want it like that. How many of you use the post-it note trick? I know it's an oldie. All right, I think that's gonna, do, whoops. I think that is better. All right, lots of little pieces like to come out. And then we'll pop up this little guy. And he just gets popped up on the snowflake. Right there. All right, oh, and I told you we were gonna fix that bow, so let's work on that. We haven't done that. It was kind of big and loopy, so I'm making it smaller. And then I can take paper snips, all right, and do this. <laughs> no, Margaret, I've used a lot more dimensionals. You have no idea. I've used quite a few. <laughs> so that's our second card. And that's with a real red card base. I hope you like it. And it can be your spree tonight, all right? We're gonna have a drawing and you might win it. And you can also place an order and get the make and take kit, okay? All right, so that's the second one. Let me go ahead and we will get one of my stickers on here. Make it official. Okay, right there. All right, I'm so glad you like it. Now, our second card is right here. Excuse me, it's the third card. So I'm gonna teach you about these antlers. I learned a trick today, or at least it worked for me. We've got some gilded gems, you'll get to see those. We've got that gold cording again. And if you want, you can get a screenshot of that. All right. Isn't that fun? And again, I chose black because um, there's black in the designer paper and I love this buffalo check um, tree. Okay. So Arlene says she, who was it? Was it Arlene said, um, Suzanne said she loves it in the green. Here is the same card, different color. Look at this one. We're not making this one tonight, but you might want a screenshot of it, okay? I did use soft suede on the reindeer. Yes, Sue, I did. Mm -hmm. Hi, Elaine, welcome. I know, the layers of green really are dreamy, and green's my favorite color. I don't know if you all knew that or not, but it's always been my favorite. 
But again, the opposite side of this plaid paper are, is the snowflakes, okay? So I just used this one in the plaid, and I thought this one turned out pretty cute in the plaid. <laughs> I am, a, I have become a dimensional queen, only probably in the last six months. It's just crazy, and I just don't have enough dimensionals. <laughs> I'm out of them until Friday. Okay, so we're not making this one, but I did want you to see it. And did you see the, um, the antlers? I put the antlers on that deer too. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make those antlers, make it easy for you. This is garden green cardstock. And again, this one measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. And it's scored at five and a half. All right. And again, if you're not sure how to cut your cardstock this way, I am happy to share that with you, okay? All right. Um, we have the very same measurements for the designer paper and the basic black cardstock. Same measurements as we had in this one, okay? Very same measurements. All right. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll get these two stuck together here. And I'm using seal, not dimensionals. I want y'all to notice that. We're going to center this and that's going to give us about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Okay? <laughs> I, Connie, I forget about making top fold cards, and this morning it's like, you know what? I want to do something different. So, you know, we forget. You know, we just start creating things the same way, and we forget about all the other options that we have. So, I'm glad y'all like the cards. I love them. I will say, these have been a favorite. Oh, you know what? We want to use that gold cording. Let's get that wrapped around. It's much easier to wrap the gold cording around before attaching to the card. So here it is. Okay, I'm going to use my trick again. So I'm going to grab a glue dot. And I'll put it about right there. That's just a guess, haven't measured anything. And I'm gonna sit that right there, okay? And this is the first time I've ever done this was today and it's, it's really worked. It's been very helpful. Okay, let's see if I can get a, a bow tied here. It's just like tying your shoe, right? All right. Yeah, I think that one's gonna work just fine. All right, let's see here. There we go. And we're gonna cut another one. I hope I don't run out of dimensionals before the end of class. <laughs> it might happen. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to add this to the card and make sure that we're just have a nice border that's even all the way around. Okay. Again, we've got the very same dies. The stitch nested labels dies. It's the very same size, nothing different. And we're gonna do a little stamping on the crumb cake this time. We're going to use garden green. And I did re-ink my garden green today. So mine's a little dark, but I was still pretty happy with my cards. We're going to start with a different tree. And this is the tallest tree in the stamp set, okay? So I like to take this one and I like to put it right in the middle and I'm going to put it towards the top right there, okay? So that's the first one. Then I'm going to take this tree. It actually has three trees. And I'm going to stamp off, and I'm, then I'm going to stamp on the paper. 
Now, when I stamp off, it makes it look like the trees are in the distance, okay? So again, I've inked and I just stamped off. I know you all didn't see that, but I did stamp off and I've added those trees here, okay? And while we have the ink out, let's go ahead and stamp our words and we're, let's do um, it's the best time of the year. And we'll put that about right there. And again, the banner is the same size, just like the other card, all right? So I kept measurements the same because it does make it easier on us, on us doesn't it? Okay. So let's get ready to pop this up. And once I have this assembled and we get our reindeer stamped, I'm gonna teach you a trick for the antlers, okay? So I'm just gonna peel this off and center it. Oops, hang tight. I think that'll do it. And then I'm going to add this right here. Okay, so two more dimensionals. And then we're going to add it to the card. And of course we want it centered. And I'm thinking that will be good right there. Let's get this bow out here. There we go. Okay. And let's go ahead and put our words up before we um, work with the deer. Again, I want that dimensional right in the middle of that banner. It's just gonna lay better than if I put dimensionals on each end. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add this about here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to ink up another deer in soft suede. And again, if you don't have soft suede in your collection, then use early espresso. You could even use cinnamon cider if you want. Um, let's see, here's my deer. Oh, what fun, put him right in the middle there. I just kept using this deer. I just liked it so much. You can also stamp the deer that is an outline and color it, but I just like this one so much. Okay, so here we go. We are going to, I think we got it. All right, there we go. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is, we're going to keep this piece and it is going to become um, a template for us, okay? All right, where's the antlers? Right here. So here are the antlers right here. They are connected and we're going to, when we stamp this, we wanna be able to punch them out because they do coordinate with the deer punch but it can be hard to get them in the punch and line them up. And so that's what I'm about to show you. So I am going to bring out the soft suede again. Oh, and you know what I wanted? I actually wanted some soft suede cardstock. So let me grab that. So we're just going to make the antlers a little bit dark, darker, and that way they'll pop on the card. Okay, so I am inking in soft suede, and I am stamping on soft suede paper, okay? I'm going to take the template. I'm going to lay it on this square, and all I want to stamp are the two antlers, okay? So, I'm going to line up, and I'll even zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so I've inked them up, 
and I'm gonna line up this, this antler right here, just one of the antlers, okay? All right, and we're gonna try that again, okay. I'm trying to watch my hands, trying to make sure that you all can see everything. So, hi, Jeanne. You're never late to the party. So happy to have you. All right. So, what I'm doing is I've lined up one antler and I've stamped it in that space. Now, this antler we're not going to pay attention to, okay? It's not important. Then, we are going to line up this antler and stamp it in that space, all right? Now, I'm removing the template and these are the two antlers, okay? All right, I still don't like the way that turned out, so hang on a second. We're gonna do something else. I'm gonna, let's see, let's get rid of this. I'm going to try one of our other templates, okay, and maybe this one, um, I don't know if that makes a difference or not. All right, let's try it again. We're going to make this perfect. Okay, so here we are. I'm lining that one, and then I've got to just turn my stamp and stamp right in that space, all right? And you know what? Maybe it's because I'm sitting down because I didn't have this problem earlier today. There we go. These are the two antlers we need. And this is how they are positioned inside that punch mechanism, okay? So I know I'm gonna need um, a post-it note. And we're gonna use our punch, so. Let's see, oh ha, here we go. All right, so what I'm doing is, I'm lining them up. Let me look at it just a minute and then I will show you. I think that's gonna work. Okay, so I've lined up the antlers. I don't know how well you can see that. Yes. I th you know, Louise, I think you could use the Stamparatus as well, but the, um, the antlers are connected. They're not two separate antlers. So I couldn't quite figure that one out. All right. So here are our antlers. Get all that stuff out of the way. And look how they turned out. They turned out perfectly that time, okay? Now, I am sure, I'm almost positive, and I'm sure it's already been done. I am sure some demonstrators will cut the two antlers apart with scissors and then reposition them with the Stamparatus and stamp and punch that way, which could be done. But I personally hate cutting my stamps. I really don't want to do that. But that would, if you wanted to use the Stamparatus, I think you would have to cut your antlers apart, line them up on the Stamparatus, and then stamp, okay? So that's just another option for you. All right, so let's find our deer. Here he is. Now, the other little trick that I found was if you take a glue dot and attach it to the deer, Let's, all right? So see how it came up and there's a glue dot on there? I don't know if you can see that glue dot. Can you see that? There's the glue dot in my inky hand. Then I am going to add the other antler, and this will be tough for y'all to see. <laughs> am I the antler lady, Gail? <laughs> I've connected, excuse me, I've connected the antlers together now with a glue dot and I made the shape of the letter V, okay? I am going to add another glue dot. This time though, I'm gonna add it to the deer. 
and I'm gonna put it right here on the back of his head, right between his ears, okay? Oh, and look what I've got on here. That's from the post-it note, but you know what? No one's gonna see it. Then I'm gonna add my deer right there. And he's all done, and he's got beautiful little antlers. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so now we're gonna add him. I'm trying to cl clean up my workspace here. I've got little pieces all over the place. <coughs> okay. I think I got all the paper. And then here's our sweet little guy. I'll put him down here, all right? Kind of off in the distance there with, okay, and now I can trim this a little bit and that a little bit. And then I'm gonna use our gilded gems, okay? So isn't that fun? He's really cute with the antlers too. I know we've had deer in the past, so I have no idea what's wrong with me. I'm just super excited about these little guys. We are gonna add some gilded gems. You could use your, uh, pick your tool, okay? Whoops, let me put that one back on there. I'm gonna go medium, put that one right there. The Take Your Pick Tools, trying to think of the name of that. Sometimes our products have long names, so I forget all the words. But that really pops it up too, adding that gilded um, gems. What do you think of that? And that is card three. Let me put it up there in case you wanna get a screenshot of it. I'll have pictures up tomorrow afternoon, okay? All right, I'm just cutting some dimensionals while we all get a screenshot of that. I'm gonna open my water. I hope, yeah, I hope these dyes stick around too. You're probably talking about the stitched labels um, dyes, Terry. All right, so who else already has the deer set? I'm gonna flip this over and I am going to add my little label to the back, my Facebook Live in the Hive. Welcome to Live in the Hive here. All right, and we're gonna give this away tonight so you wanna hang on till the very, very end, okay? All right. And again, this was the other card that I had created. Okay, oh yay, I think Sherry's got the bundle. Good, Carol's got the bundle, yay. You're gonna be ready to get started. I am I want you to um, get started tomorrow on making a card. Okay, so I've got a couple other cards to show you before we do the last one, okay? You all may remember this or you may not. I know, Carol, I know. Um, Tom also likes the deer, okay? And so he's been asking me about that bundle. I have a feeling he wants to make tags with it. <laughs> okay, all right. So since you love the red and black together, Terry, and everybody else, I'm gonna show you some other samples, okay? So these are just samples. This was last year with the Moose Punch, okay? Yay, Sandy, I'm glad you got the bundle. This was last year with the Moose Punch, okay? So this year, I decided to do one with the Deer Punch. I'm gonna zoom out. You might recommend, uh, recognize this. This here is Buffalo Check and it is a retired background stamp, all right? So, buffalo check, it's retired, 
but I never gave mine away and I didn't sell it. I love it. I'm probably going to always keep it. This is the wood mount of it. All right. And so this, this moose card that we made last year during Facebook Live, and I'll reference that later as far as the date in the video. Um, when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, I could do that with the deer. And so that's really how this all started. Isn't the buffalo check awesome? Please case it, Suzanne. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, by the way, this is shaded spruce, okay? Shaded spruce. So, it's not the same green that's in the deer paper, okay? All right, so that's one of them. I wanted you to see that. And this was also one of our moose um, cards from last year during Facebook Live. And I think it was close to Christmas when we did it. So, you know me, this is in real red, and the black is the Black Memento ink. I had to try it with our sweet little deer, and that's in real red, and then the Black Memento ink, okay? And I used the gilded gems, the gold cording, those are all available, okay? I know the Shaded Spruce Louise is absolutely amazing. I wish Shaded Spruce was in the deer paper. Okay, so I did one more, and here it is in Garden Green, okay? So Garden Green, because it goes with the Christmas paper, okay? I'll zoom in a little bit here. And Real Red. There's the moose, and I'll go ahead and bring back shaded spruce, all right? So you can grab a, uh, a screenshot of that as well, and I'll get pictures of all of these, and you are welcome to case them. Um, just give me credit if you post it anywhere, and um, I appreciate that. But yeah, I miss the Buffalo Check stamps background stamp. I really wish it was still available. Okay. All right. Yes, exactly, Terry. So, you know, Terry, I remember last year the moose card these two moose cards from last year, I remember loving them so much because of the buffalo check. And I happened to pull them out the other day and I'm like, wait a minute, why can't I just have the deer? And the deer stamp set has four different kinds of trees. So um, it just makes it really, really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna move on from there, but I just wanted you to see it with Buffalo Check. If you are interested in learning how I used the background stamp, you might have this stamp at home. If you're interested in learning how I stamped it here, I will refer you to last year's video, okay? And then you'll see the technique, all right? Okay. We'll put those away now. My last card, and it's also a freebie when you place an order in my online store this week. It's a gift card, all right? So you open it up and you pull out the cute little gift card, okay? And so um, I just love using these at Christmas time. I like to make them ahead of time. I like to have them in the drawer. And that way, when I'm ready with a gift card, I can take care of it. Terry, I'm loving the emoji. Love it. <laughs> I may be using that tomorrow. Okay, so this is another super, super, super simple card. Okay, it's a great gift card holder. And ladies, if you're part of my hostess club, and I have quite a few of you ladies watching tonight, if you missed your hostess club in September... This is the Deer Project, okay? So be sure to watch 
so that you know how to put yours together. And you will have to have the stamp to stamp the deer. Um, your kits are not stamped per Stampin' Up! policy, okay? All right, here we go. Oh, you ready for this one? This um, is real red cardstock, and it measures four and a quarter inches. And it also measures 11 inches. I don't have an 11 inch ruler, okay? So when you go to score this one, you want to score at two and three, hang on, two and three quarters, right there, okay? That's the first score line, two and three quarters. And then you're gonna score again at five, five and a half. Okay, so that's your two score lines along the 11 inch side. I'll have measurements on my blog um, later this week, okay? Oh my gosh, Arlene, yes. you, I, Arlene, I hope you have the deer bundle, you should. <laughs> I'm hoping you do. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually work on the inside and just get this part taken care of, okay? So your basic white cardstock is going to measure five and a quarter inches. Mary, thank you. Thank you so much. Five and a quarter inches by four inches, okay? Now, before I tape this in here, there's some stamping to do, all right? So let's find the designer paper that goes with this. This is actually the paper that's gonna go with it, all right? So I wanna be sure that I stamp in the right area. I certainly don't wanna stamp over here because the paper's gonna cover it up. So let's get out a real red ink. <laughs> yes, you could use the mousse with this paper. I don't see why not, Connie. And also, Connie, if you have another deer dye or deer punch, you could use that with the Peaceful Prints paper. Okay, so you've, you've got some other options there where you don't have to have this particular set. All right, so sending love and peace this season. And then we're actually gonna stamp some trees in the background, all right? So let's use a different tree. This tree actually has um, two trees on it. I know that's hard to see. So I've inked it and I'm gonna stamp off because I want this to be in the background. All right, and there it is, all done. So since I didn't mess up and I don't have to flip over my basic white paper, I can go ahead and um, adhere this to the Whisper White cardstock. And I'm just gonna put this right on the edge, all right? And then I'm just gonna add this, and this goes inside the card. And we're gonna put it about right here. All right, and that is all taken care of. And did I measure this? I'm not sure if I did or not. So the trees are measuring two and three quarter inches. Two and three quarter inches by four inches, okay? So that's your measurement for your designer paper. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fold that first score line and we're gonna fold it in, okay? It gets folded in. Then, <clears throat> We're going to take this piece. Now, this piece of paper is different than the sample, but it's the very same size, okay? So either green you wanna use. 
To measure the designer paper, it is two and a half inches. Thank you, Connie. And four inches, okay? So this piece of designer paper is a little bit smaller than the tree. So I'm just gonna add my seal right along here. And I'm going to center this on this panel. All right. Just like that. <clears throat> now, I have already made a template. And I'm actually going to put that template on top of this. But let me show you how I made it. Let me get a piece of uh, paper here. <clears throat> I'm going to use the one inch punch. If you don't have the one inch, no worries. Try one and a quarter or even one and a half, okay? So it doesn't have to be the one inch. I am going to punch out a circle. It's a little hard to punch out a circle on a post-it note there. Okay, so this right here then what I do is, I take the sticky part of the circle, so I'm showing you how to make a template of your own, okay? Then what I like to do is measure. So here's my circle. Here I am at one and a half inches. So let's see how much space I have over here. I have one and three quarter inches. So I already know this circle is not centered. So I'm just gonna move it over a tad. And now I've got one and five eighths, okay, from the edge to the circle. And then over here, I've got one and five eighths. So I now know that this circle is centered and I can put it right here punch and I know that I am in the center and that's how you make your template okay now for my class I measure out a piece of cardboard and then I make the template okay so I make it a little different when I'm teaching a class because lots of people are using it now you do want some tear and tape for this one because now we're gonna make the holder and you want to run your tear and tape as close to the edge as possible. Now, the reason that I didn't use my stamp and seal plus, this is stamp and seal plus, I didn't use this because it would be wider than this skinny strip of tape, okay? And I want the gift card to be able to fit inside. All right, and then all I do is I just peel this off. Just like that. And then I close it up. And now I've got my gift card holder. And it's right there. Okay, isn't that cool? <laughs> they would be a great stamp a stack absolutely yes I love it Sherry what an awesome idea now I'm gonna fold this over I could certainly use my bone folder because it, it gets kind of thick here all right and that'll kind of help lay that down and so now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to add our designer paper and cardstock, and I need to trim my paper. So let me get my paper trimmer. Okay, it is just a little too long, and I 
had made a bunch of these earlier and I had measured them incorrectly. So I'm gonna give you the measurement in a second. Hard to pick up, let's see. Yep, now it works. Okay, so let's measure these two for you, okay? Because this is going to go on this front panel. All right, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Okay, measurements, designer paper. <clears throat> this is two and three eighths of an inch. And three and seven eighths of an inch. All right. Thank you, Elaine. I'm so glad that you like the card. Um, ladies, if you're watching and you haven't commented, you may want to comment because I'm going to be giving this card away along with three more. That's two and a half inches by four inches. Okay. So we'll tape these two together and we're going to use those snowflakes. Love that. Oh, you know what? We're going to put it on here on the garden green, not the holder. All right, and you've got like a 16 of an, oh, it's about an eighth of an inch around the designer paper. And then of course, we're just, we're gonna add this. And this gets added right along here. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad, Connie. I'm glad you're going to make this. I love, this is one of my favorite gift card holders, but I think I say that about every one I make. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. All right, circles are cut with layering circles, the very same size I used on the very first card, okay? And then we're going to just use the plaid side, and this is basic black because there's a lot of black in this paper. I know we don't associate basic black cardstock with Christmas too often, but um, it really does work with this paper. Okay, we only want half of this circle adhered to this, all right? So I am going to, <laughs> all right. Yes, you could definitely do the penguins, Rosemary. Absolutely. Okay, so here we are. I just put tape on half of that circle, okay, and adhered it, all right? So just like that. See how that's done? You just don't want adhesive here because it'll stick to this, okay? you will be able to see the replay, Sherry. Once I'm done and I say goodbye and sign off, you'll be able to watch the replay. Yep, and you can catch the other cards that you may have missed. All right, well, let's grab a snowflake because you know it's my favorite. Love these things. I think all my customers have bought these, so if they go on back order, it's because of me. They have all these little pieces from being die cut in a machine. So I just kind of move those out of there. All right. And I'm gonna put that right there, okay? And we're gonna add another deer. Imagine that. We'll add one more deer. All right. And I'm just gonna stamp him again on crumb cake. It's soft suede ink. And I'm not sure if I'll need a post-it or not for this. We will see. So, oh yeah, you gotta order the snowflake, Suzanne. And if they're on back order, you know it's because of me. Okay, it'll be my fault. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay. I always, once I punch, you have all these little pieces, and so I'll, I'll turn the punch over um, on top of the trash can so that all the little pieces go in the trash can. 
All right, and by the way, the hole here, and I think it was, was it Melissa who mentioned this little hole here can be used for a gift tag, or it can be the nose, and you can make this little guy Rudolph with the red gems, okay? So you've got some other options for that. Can you believe that I actually had enough dimensionals for tonight? Can't believe it. All right. I know, he really doesn't need three dimensionals, but that's okay, I'm at the end. All right, and we'll add this little cutie right here. All right, and this is your gift card holder. Let's turn that over and let's add a label here. And we are going to be drawing some winners now for these four cards, okay? <laughs> I know, Sue. I am trouble. I am trouble. Oh, by the way, let me show you ladies this. I actually um, punched out one of the deer with the designer paper because it coordinates. And so... Um, Anyway, you can use the little buffalo check reindeer if you want, okay? And you can use either side of it, all right? So the paper does coordinate with the punch, all right? <laughs> you might need this bundle, Rosemary, especially Rosemary if you're placing an online order and I can send you all these free cards, okay? All right, so let's do this. Let's look at these cards one more time because I do want to show you what's included in the make and take kit. All right. Ladies, you're going to get, if you decide to um, place an order in my online store here, let me see if I can do this. Maybe I'll do this. How about that? Is that, is that better? All right. All right. So. Here's the deal, all right? Between now, oh, I'm upside down. <laughs> yes, red sparkle paper would be an amazing nose, absolutely. Okay, let me just move this up a little. All right, so you hang on because I'm gonna tell you what my special is this week, and then we're gonna draw names for these four cards, okay? And you might win one of the cards. Okay, so between tonight and Monday night, if you place a minimum $50 order in my online store, oh, Sherry, I, I'm, I would, I'd love to visit Australia. I'm sorry you're not here in the US. Um, but when placing an order, it needs to be a minimum $50 order. You can select the deer paper if you want, or any celebration, but you're gonna get a free celebration product. You're going to get the card bases pre-cut, pre-scored. You're going to get all the embellishments that you see right here. You're going to earn one B on your B reward card, and you're going to get my free September tutorial, okay? So, um, you've got these options available to you. Now, if you are one of my team members, I know you don't wanna order in my online store because you're a demonstrator. 